Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The Electoral Office of Jamaica will now advance preparations for the March 2 by-election in Southeast Clarendon after two candidates were nominated today. The JLP's Colonel Charles Jr. and independent candidate Derek Lambert are to face off in the elections being boycotted by the PNP because it's too close to a general election. And both candidates say they will be putting in the work to pull out the voters. Every home, every institution, every school, every road in Southeast is going to feel my boot heel. The barbarians are at the gate. They are about to take us over. And we will never allow. Former Contractor General Greg Christie is to become the Executive Director of the Integrity Commission effective May 18. The post is currently being held by Interim Head Colonel Daniel Price. High school teacher Troy Chambers has been remanded on charges of illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition and impersonating a cop. Chambers was arrested last week when he turned up at the Ellison Road Police Station, identifying himself as a police sergeant. In sports, the Jamaica Scorpions will host the Leeward Islands Hurricanes in the Professional Cricket League Regional 4-Day Championship on Thursday. The Scorpions will look to carry on the momentum from their first win of the season over defending champions Guyana Jaguars last week. In your currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $142.38, the British pound sterling for $184.38, and the Canadian dollar for $107.84. In your weather forecast, on Thursday morning, there will be mainly sunny conditions. In the afternoon, there will be partly cloudy skies and windy conditions. And that's it for the Greener Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.